all right boys we are here with the new patch notes for grand crossing oh is those summer outfits oh no we was kind of expecting lr asking today but uh i was not i ain't gonna lie seeing that fray outfit got me acting up oh my god so yeah guys let's go into um what the heck this stuff didn't load up the images didn't even load up yet wait okay there you go Ooh, a summer freya hold up a summer freya dang even freya doesn't even have a summer outfit um yo let, let's get to the real action lr Escanor and it's base green Escanor. Ooh, look at that art that art looks so different oh my god it looks like nothing like the other grand cross art at all man let me bro let me quickly try to translate this bro this is a lot to translate oh my god bro this is like a bible bro i crack let me know if i can translate all this um okay so we have eskinar is passive um it says give one skill for three turns at the end of the turns the enemies who didn't use the skill during wait what all right let me do this one by one all right give one internal flame for three turns at the end of the turn to enemies who didn't use skill during the enemy's turn and if all allies including sub slots are human at the start of allies turns grant one additional internal flame to all enemies for three turns for each eternal flame on the enemy your attack related abilities will increase by five percent up to maximum of 30 percent remove and disable wait what the heck eternal flame damage received plus 15 percent can be stacked four times so these are for characters who don't really um attack you and it's also it's going to give eternal flame for additional humans that's on the field or probably amazon sub slots that sounds pretty nasty and this is his passive being changed his normal passive um so let's look at the other card which i think is his um attack cards inflicts explosion damage equal to 550 percent attack to a single enemy and generates two special oh so now he has um explosion and he, he does damage plus 40 percent for each eternal flame on the target so it seems like his skills are going to be paired alongside this new eternal flame uh passive wow and his other skill is remove the buff effect of a single enemy deals damage equal to 180 percent attack power and gives two ignition ignition effects for three turns and you already know what ignition does which is ignites and um okay remove the buff of a single enemy and deals damage equal to 300 percent attack power for four turns uh is that his wait is that his ultimate i'm assuming that's his ultimate and he has a new passive as well which is nullify 100 percent of the critical resistance of a single enemy oh my god oh wait never mind his ultimate is nullifies 100 percent of the um critical resistance of a single enemy what the heck so so basically he's gonna always crit on his ultimates because that's a lot <laughs> You're lowering the enemy crit resist by 100 percent so you're gonna always crit oh my god wait okay so what was the other thing i read Let me make sure um oh they i think they probably just changed the um the effect of this card a little bit more for that 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 remove buff card where it gives like eight nines and stuff like that so it's saying like remove the buff of effect of a single enemy deal damage equal three percent of the attack power and gives four additional effect for four turns i'm assuming that's for the gold card okay so they also changed the gold card as well to be a little bit more um deadly <laughs> but wow his ultimate now can guarantee it's just guaranteed crits wow that is that is insane um i don't know if his internal flame would be like pv be like gray or red debuff That'd be kind of interesting to see um because then it will let us know if he's gonna be able to be really really good for pve because pve that's where you're gonna need like more gray passives than anything um oh yeah i almost forgot freya <laughs> yo the, the freaking escort got me so hyped i forgot freya exists let me go to the new tab 
all right so we have summer freya and like usual her banner is absolutely trash um i guess the only good pickup is gonna be summer merlin or deanne uh elizabeth if you hate yourself but um it's a 600 and she, again she probably won't be available for regular gotcha thing um let's look at her passive a little bit use my handy dandy google translate increase the own basic stats uh by eight percent for each specific ally participate in battle and pvp oh my god it's pvp only and grants charm to the enemy with the highest fighting class at the start of the battle charm enemies can only be attacked by charm enemies can on, only be attacked by freya and when attacked damage dealt by the enemy reduced by 40 percent in addition damage dealt by reduction skill is increased by 30 percent and when you use your skill to deal critical damage to the enemy the debuffs are removed one by one all the stats are restored increased by five percent um traction cannot be overlapped with mark coercion specific ally ragar feature characters unknown race um i ain't gonna lie man i'm not excited for this freya can't lie to you uh let's look what kind of skill she does have though because she i'm guessing she got it similar to like Lane with her her um course and just different effects um she has a single target pierce okay and then she has a single and she she has a single debuff is this debuff or no no it says reduce critical resistance which is the table uh double crit damage wait what wouldn't that be a debuff then unless she's just saying like that's how the damage is based on this is double crit critical damage so it's like what it reduces the enemy it resists at the same time or is this something where as you attack the enemy crit resist will be reduced by 50 percent of critical resist and then you also have that spike damage alongside of it i don't know and then she has the ultimate which is regular um yeah not really excited for her uh pretty pretty mid 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 but it's fine it's about lr asking our boys that's what we care about this art looks absolutely fantastic it looks super different from oh my god it looks so different from like normal grand cross art did they hire a new artist yo this is, am i tripping my thing of that they, i think they hired a new artist yo <laughs> they, they artists on on, uh, uh, on strike a lot of you um yeah friday events um these are logger rewards so you're gonna get a free multi so if you don't want to summon you're gonna get at least a free multi which is really good um we got a new summer events got some good goodies cool stuff um cool so okay so they got the the hog dream events which we've done this plenty of times before but it looks like they switch out the background and hopefully switch out the uh hawk outfits but you probably already see how that goes um super boss hawk it seems they like they they trying to read oh oh there we go here arena here arena okay so let's see if they adjust it here arena a little bit uh one entry ap 60 percent um she's one of the leagues um it says still it still is 340k uh, a lot of people are hoping that they might reduce that a little bit but yeah it seems like it's 340k um okay here comes the improvements the game is not completed normally during a battle and battle can be resumed so these are for the people who somehow uh, i don't know maybe you got like a phone call or something like that while playing and stuff like that and pretty much you had to continue to play and or you end up having to restart the whole thing um these are going to give you a little bit of leeway in case you do have time to do something else um the time limit runs out during okay is they saying it doesn't run out because i think that's also one of the things that people had issue was that there was a time limit for a pve event and a lot of people was like stressing because they had to think of so many plays because they do not want to reset so you had to think very fast but at least this will give you a little bit more re leeway your arena will run for a total of six week and rewards and challenging information will be reset every one week okay wait what they did not reset every one week mm. or oh or at least saying like challenge information like they'll probably switch up like the characters that you're going to be facing maybe season characters that can be complied season buff have been adding confirmed through the season character display Stay tuned for future seasonal season characters. Um, so are they going to do something with these season characters where it's going to have like these cool little buffs to them? 
like we're gonna have like a pvp rule that's gonna be like yo these season characters get like a hundred percent base stats or something like that and it looks like the wars are still the same um the arena shop yeah the shop is still the same um like no one's gonna care about any of these other things the only thing people be caring about is the is literally the lr coins boy they're gonna keep stacking the lr coins and leave it at that like i don't know why they even try with these other stuff but it just seemed like they just approved pretty much just the the fact that you don't have to um um like you know stress over time and stuff like that hopefully it, hopefully it's just easier you know and it isn't like the cringe your war sets where you have like a recovery rip time you link dn and stuff like that maybe maybe they might and these are these are the summer outfits for bond and roxy golly bond got like four new outfits by the way <laughs> i swear bond got that wedding outfits uh he got the hawk pass outfits and now you got a, the summer outfit golly bond and uh roxy got a new outfit in case you don't have her maxed out i guess which is cool and then you have the older ones and then you have the super super old ones and then here's are some returning ones for like escanor um for people who are still missing some escanor outfits mm, nothing too crazy dang improve some debuff effects if an enemy with a debuff uses skill or becomes a target the effect will not be displayed uh okay improve use of skip tickets uh, when you use get through the production speed will be improved okay so it's a little bit faster cool and they changed the maximum from 10 to 30. really good um uh, fix the issue okay uh-huh added character to permanent gotcha tier where the heck is kusak and freaking uh chandler never mind, well. this is permanent okay now but this is not this is like the human giant race thing but net marble man net marble net marble where is demon kusak and demon chandler bro like i've been waiting forever for demon chandler and kusak like they came out like last year bro it's about to be a year that chandler came out bro a year but yeah guys Escanor, super excited to see the, the be coming out um okay oh yeah i forgot they had this new artifact card sets do i want to bother reading that probably not but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like and subscribe again and are you excited for Escanor? they didn't really discuss how much coins you're gonna to need to LR? I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing where it's gonna be a hundred um again to LR the character and the PP CC thing for for this mode is still the same. So keep that in mind. So hope you guys enjoy. Just promote you guys, I'm out. Peace.